Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus Channel. Behind the joyful roar of every mission accomplishment, there lies a true but often overlooked hero. It's the runway that takes the brunt of harsh landings and takeoffs. Maintaining a runway to the desired quality is as important as maintaining a fleet of aircraft. Due to the criticality of runway conditions, runway repair technology constantly evolves with impressive inventions, which could knock your socks off. Like road construction, runway construction and repair are not easy tasks. The process is labor intensive and requires the use of hefty construction equipment. Rapid Engineer Deployable Heavy Operational Repair Squadron Engineers, or the Red Horse, is the designated Air Force Squadron to undertake complex constructions, such as runways and barracks. They play a crucial role in airfield damage repair by restoring unsound runways and allowing continuous operations. Such repairs require advanced and colossal machinery, such as concrete pump trucks and slip form pavers. The pump truck improves the efficiency of the repair, as it can precisely place the ready-mixed concrete in the right location with the help of its expandable boom. Concrete slip form pavers cut down on labor requirements and allow formless paving. When deployed away from home bases, engineers encounter numerous challenges. The strategic importance of an airfield is of paramount importance, and the ramifications of losing an airfield are beyond any measure. Usually, enemies target runways to disrupt air operations and gain a tactical advantage in a battle. Such strikes could damage the runway, creating craters that hinder aircraft operations. Apart from such strike damages, runways deteriorate over time upon usage due to wear and tear. Potholes are the most common sign of excessive wear and tear on a runway. To maintain operational continuity, repairing the potholes in the shortest possible time plays a critical role. To begin patching the pothole, airmen remove the damaged concrete with the help of a concrete saw and a jackhammer. They remove concrete spalls to form a square-shaped cutout with straight and vertical sides. This creates room to introduce new material. Concrete chunks are removed and new material is introduced into the provision. Repairing a pothole mitigates foreign object debris damage and presents more structural capacity to the runway. This conventional method of repairing damages consumes more concrete and 
time for preparing the cutout. Unlike a pothole, a crater gulps more concrete, which increases the cost and effort substantially. To eliminate such demands, U.S. Army research engineers introduced foam backfill technology, which uses polyurethane foam as a filler material instead of concrete. Polyurethane foam expands nearly six times during the curing process. This occupies a larger volume within the crater. 4,500 pounds of backfill can replace soil that would weigh 30,000 pounds. Unlike the readily recognizable craters or potholes, an explosive penetrating through the concrete could create a cavern, aligning the dots for an impending disaster. But the United States Army Corps of Engineers treats such camouflage differently than craters and potholes. No concrete spalling is done to treat the damage, but a backfill is infused into the subsurface voids. Once infused, engineers conduct a series of tests to verify the structural integrity of the repair. Driving a loaded cart through the repair area to simulate aircraft movement is more of a straightforward test carried out by the engineers. Additionally, engineers subject the repair area to heavyweight deflectometer tests to evaluate load bearing capacity, elastic modulus, and overall structural integrity. Engineers use this data to ensure the quality of the runway before declaring its serviceability. The characteristics of the material used for the backfill govern the efficacy of the repair. Hence, engineers are on a continuous mission to test and induct new materials. The Air Force Civil Engineer Center gaining the patent for a novel material to expedite rapid airfield damage recovery is the perfect reward for their commitment to enhancing runway repair technology. This new formula, KFIL, is named after the periodic symbol of potassium, as potassium silicate is the main constituent of the backfill. This formula chops down the curing time to one hour and can be prepared easily with on-site raw materials such as sand and clay. Remote air bases with constricted supplies will benefit from this new invention. On the other hand, as KFIL uses abundant materials, the cost is reduced by several folds compared to conventional materials like concrete. Apart from repairing damaged parts on a runway, the entire runway is renovated when it shows signs of being outdated. Refurbishing an entire runway is a month-long Herculean task. The process is labor-intensive and costs a small fortune for the operators. During the renovation, impaired runway structural sections are removed and repaired with new material. After completing all structural repairs, the runway is repaved with either concrete or asphalt. Repaving restores the original characteristics of a runway, as it offers a fresh surface with better friction and visibility. This reduces foreign object debris damage, as the runway is less likely to be contaminated by dislodged materials. In addition to that, all of the signage is also updated for enhanced clarity and visibility. A large-scale runway renovation could reap more results in the long run, as it offers operational continuity and improved durability. Aviation is one of the industries that has a comprehensive framework of rules and stringent safety practices. 
With that said, airport runways are treated with extreme care and precision as they involve the most critical flight phases. Aircraft landing and takeoff. As a measure to improve safety, authorities have defined a runway safety area or RSA that surrounds the runway from all four sides. Usually, the RSA extends 500 feet from either side and 1,000 feet from the two runway ends. All commercially serving runways were asked to comply with the RSA standard by the end of 2015. RSA provides a safety margin, which mitigates heavy damage to the aircraft during a runway excursion. That's where the aircraft overshoots, undershoots, or veers off to either side. During the RSA Improvement Program, it was identified that certain runways could not maintain the required RSA measures. Mainly due to geographical constraints. However, maintaining the RSA was an extreme necessity for the safe operation of aircraft. To overcome this challenge, authorities had to shift runways, acquire additional land, or shorten the usable length of the runway. All these solutions had severe ramifications that affected airport operations and entailed substantial expenditures. As a result of these limitations, the Engineered Material Arresting System, or EMAS, was introduced. This innovative method uses a bed of crushable, lightweight materials at the runway end. When an aircraft overruns the EMAS arrestor bed, the aircraft tires crush the material and sink into the bed, decelerating the aircraft by a shorter distance. As the FAA claimed, EMAS can successfully arrest an aircraft overshooting the runway at 80 miles per hour. Unlike usual overrun events, the incident is more likely to have zero casualties and the aircraft suffering minor damages. This provides room to reopen the airport within the shortest possible time, without disrupting flight schedules. Since the first installation at John F. Kennedy Airport in 1996, EMAS has saved the lives of passengers and crew, bringing the overshooting aircraft to a controlled descent. Installing an EMAS system requires excavating and grading the existing soil. Once excavated, a rock fill and aggregate base are laid. Then, an asphalt layer is laid, covering the aggregate and allowing room for EMAS block installation. Runway Safe Group is the company that manufactures EMAS systems. EMAS Max and Green EMAS are the two varieties of EMAS systems offered by Runway Safe. EMAS Max uses a bed of engineered blocks that are ready to install. In the green EMAS systems, silica foam aggregate is placed beneath the controlled low-strength material. While runways have remained an indispensable player in the aviation industry, the use of cutting-edge technology has reshaped the way airmen maintain them. As runway maintenance has become less labor-intensive and more environmentally friendly, it has opened the doors for a new world of efficiency and sustainability that will truly improve the operational reliability of future airplanes. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.